Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, today we will start another important type study for BSc and higher studies. Note down in this lecture. I will discuss systematic portion, classification and general introduction of common house rat. It is black rat. Dear students, it is ratus ratus. First of all, I will clear systematic portion classification of common rat, house rat. It is ratus ratus. Kingdom, Animalia. Phylum, Codata. Dear students, phylum Codata, as name indicates, Codata means presence of a dorsal, solid road-like structure that is not a coat. Due to presence of not a coat, the animal is placed in phylum Codata, as well as in this dorsal side, a dorsal hollow narrow cord is present. In this region, thoracic region, pharyngeal region, during developmental stages, appearance of gill slates, as well as in this last terminal part, a post anal tail is present just behind the anus. Dear student, this is anus, and just behind this anus, note down here, this is anal opening, and behind it, a tail is present, it is post anal tail is present. Subphylum vertebrata or it is craniata. Vertebrata means at the time of development, solid road, the notochord is developed and that notochord is replaced by a vertebral column. That's why these are vertebrates. Craniata, it means the brain is enclosed in a cavity, in a brain box, the cranium. The brain is present in a cranium, the brain box. Class mammalia means presence of mammary glands. Dear students, this entire body of rat that is covered by soft and short hair, that coat is, it is palace as well as on head region external ear possesses ear pina which receives sound waves subclass eutheria dear students eutheria means there is a well developed placenta order rodentia rodentia it means in mouth, in buccal cavity, both jaws possesses teeth, but the incisors of upper jaw are longer as compared to incisors of lower jaw. Dear students, order rodentia means upper incisors are longer than lower incisors. Type and type is ratus ratus. It means in this lecture, we are discussing house rat, black rat, scientifically it is ratus ratus. Now, we will discuss general morphology of rat. First of all, we will discuss habitat. Dear student, the animal is fossorial. Fossorial, it means the rat, the animal lives in holes, burrows. Mainly, it is found in house. So, it is named common house rat. As well as, rat is found in cultivated fields, in lawns, in forest, in go-downs. Habits, feeding. The animal is omnivorous. Dear students, the rat, the animal, the mammal, and it consumes all types of food present in our kitchens. It consumes vegetables as well as fruits. 
as well as the rat consumes eggs, meat, fishes. In rare cases, the animal shows cannibalism. Important topic, cannibalism. It means the animal consumes its own species. Locomotion. The rat is, it is cursorial. Dear student, cursorial means it is fast running animal. It lives in burrows, it lives in holes. So it is fossorial. But it is cursorial because the animal is fast running. And due to presence of fast running habit, it is cursorial. It is DGT grade. DGT grade, it means the finger, the digits, the toes. The animal walks, it runs, it shows movements on digits. So it is DGT grade. As well as it swims in water. The animal climbs on trees. So it is arboreal. And the house rat, it also climbs the wall. So it is scansorial. Reproduction. The animal, it breeds throughout the year. And dear students, the gustation period, the pregnancy period, that is short, about three to four weeks. A mature female produce five to six liters per year. And note down dear students, competitive exam student, each liter beer, six to eight young ones in each liter. A mature female produce five to six liters per year. And each liter having commonly seven young ones per liter and the young ones are blind, naked, without any fur coat, without any palace. External morphology. The house rat is, it is cosmopolitan. It means it is found everywhere. Dear students, the symmetries and the symmetry is like human being. It is bilateral symmetry. And the entire body of rat that is covered with soft and short hair that is pallets. And the body is divided into four parts. This anterior most part it is head. Then the small part it is neck. This maximum part of body it is trunk and the last longest part cylindrical part it is tail dear students is head it bears mouth a pair of eyes a pair of external nares nostrils a pair of external ear pinna mouth in case of rat mouth is not terminal it is subterminal and dear students his mouth is bounded by two lips the upper lip important point important point competitive exam students the upper lip having a vertical cleft and that cleft is called hair lip that helps in ingestion of food these are a pair of external nearest nostrils which are involved in breathing. And dear students, the head also possesses a pair of eyes. And each eye is bounded by three eyelids. Upper eyelid, lower eyelid and third eyelid that is nictitating membrane that is semilunaris. And these are a pair of movable pinna, which receive sound waves. As well as this mouth anterior part of head region, 
द माउथ इज सराउंडेड बाय लॉन्ग स्टिफ हेयर एंड दीज आर वाइब्रेसी एंड दीज वाइब्रेसी आर सेंसिटिव स्ट्रक्चर दीज आर टैक्टाइल स्ट्रक्चर विच आर सेंसिटिव टू टच दिस इज ऑल अबाउट हेड एंड द हेड बियर्स ए माउथ ए पेयर ऑफ नॉस्ट्रेस ए पेयर ऑफ आईज एंड दीज लॉन्ग स्टिफ हेयर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दीज आर वाइब्रेसी एंड ए पेयर ऑफ पीना दिस शोर्ट मूवेबल पार्ट इट इज नेक एंड नेक प्रोवाइड्स मोबिलिटी टू हेड रीजन दिस मैक्सिमम पार्ट ऑफ बॉडी इट इज ट्रंक एंड दिस ट्रंक इज डिवाइडेड इन टू दिस एंटीरियर नैरो पार्ट इज इट इज थॉरेक्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट दिस पोस्टीरियर वाइडर पार्ट इज इट इज एबडोम इन दिस लोअर साइड वर्टिकल साइड द ट्रंक पोजेस इज सिक्स पेयर्स ऑफ टीट्स और नीपर्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स द ट्रंक रीजन पोजेस इज सिक्स पेयर्स ऑफ नीपर्स और टीट्स आउट ऑफ दिस सिक्स पेयर्स थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ नीपल टीट्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस थोरेसिक रीजन and three pairs of nipples are present on abdominal region here in case of rat it is a tetrapoda two pairs of limbs each four limb having three parts this upper part is brachium this middle part is it is antebrachium and this lower this lower most part it is hand or manes it possesses digits fingers with claws this hind limb again divided into three parts this upper proximal part it is thigh or femur this middle part is it is crus or it is shank and this lower part it is foot pes or it is distal part dear students it also possesses digits toes with claws and this longer cylindrical part tapering part it is tail it is post anal because it lies behind the anus and the tail not down competitive exam students the tail is the only reason which possesses scales this is all about external morphology general characters and systematic portion of black rat house rat ratus ratus